What is going on, my fitness junkies? Welcome to the new Fitness Junkie Training HQ. Uh, this is my new apartment where I've got my whole home gym and home office set up. So pretty pumped about this new setup. Okay, If this is your first time watching, guys, um, please make sure to like and subscribe. But in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is my DEXA scan results. And then so basically, I've been on a lean bulk for the last six months. So I'm going to show you guys my results in those six months of how much muscle I've put on with how much fat I've put on. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about kind of the three main things that I paid attention to and what you can take away from my lean bulk. If you're wanting to put on as much muscle as possible with putting on as least fat as possible. Okay. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you guys my DEXA scan results. So let's dive right into it. Cool. So as you guys can see, I used DexaFit and really highly recommend DexaFit. Really cool. Um, there's one here in Dallas. That's the one I use, but I think there's, you know, DexaFits all over the place. So try to find something near you. But DEXA scans are the gold standard of getting your body fat percentage checked. Okay. So, you know, you, you may see here I'm, I'm at 15% body fat just about. Um, I've done, you know, in body scans, I've, I've got a scale that does my body fat. Usually those other measurements are going to read you a lot lower. I've even done a hydrostatic weighing body fat percentage check, which is where you literally sit in water. Um, and it, it's kind of like water displacement. You breathe out, um, and you figure out your body fat percentage like that. I was like 10% on that one. So the DEXA scan is usually going to read a little bit higher, but this is, like really the gold standard, kind of the, the the most accurate body fat percentage measurement that you can do. Okay. So highly recommend you getting a DEXA scan to, if you really want to be super accurate and know your really precise um, body fat percentage. So as you see here, I'm 196 pounds. That's what I was when I got this scan done. Um, the change from six months ago when I started, I was 181 pounds. So I, I put on almost 15 total pounds in about six months. Um, my body fat percentage, as you can see is 15.5%, which is really on the higher end of what I would really ever want to be. So I'm kind of on the higher end of that. But like I said, I was doing a lean bulk. And so it went up just 0.3%. Okay. And like I said, I, I was going on a lean bulk. So mostly my goal was putting on muscle and I wasn't too concerned. I just mostly wanted to maintain the body fat percentage in this time, which I was able to do. So I was pretty pleased and lean mass, as you can see, is at 158 total pounds of lean mass. So I actually went up 12 total pounds of lean mass. And so this doesn't 100% mean I gained 12 pounds of pure muscle, um, but this still is giving me a really good representation that I did put on a good amount of muscle because not 100% of that is going to be pure muscle. Some of that's just like water weight and um, I'm not really sure what else it honestly is, but that's just lean mass overall. So that just means I put on 12 pounds that wasn't fat or like bone mineral tissue basically. So but really 12 pounds of lean mass in six months as a natural lifter, who's been lifting for over 12 years. That's I'm really pleased with the, with these results. Okay. And if, if you don't believe I'm natural, um, then I'm actually getting my, my testosterone checked really soon. And I'm be making another video on those results real soon as well. So visceral fat. So this is going to be the fat kind of surrounding all your organs, like your lungs and your heart, everything like that. They were super, pleased and surprised that I had zero, like zero visceral fat whatsoever. Um, I've never had visceral fat, so I, I wasn't surprised about this, but they, they seem to think that that was a really good thing. Uh, so cool on that too. These are just kind of showing my, my uh, trends. So just charts to show that as well. Um, this is probably where I'll stop showing the DEXA scan after this one. Uh, cause this is just showing that, you know, from, from, scan to scan my, my results on this stuff and in the different areas too. So that's, that's one really cool thing about the DEXA scan is it's actually scanning your whole body and you're able to see, um, what areas you gained muscle mass, what areas you gained fat, all that type of stuff. 
So really cool. I'm actually going to go a little bit farther here and I'm going to show you just this scan history. So you can see right here, total mass 181 to 196, um, lean mass 146 to 158. So pretty crazy. So yeah, that, that is mostly like I've gained, it's not a hundred percent accurate that I gained 12 pounds of pure muscle, but that it's a pretty good rough estimate that I put on like 12 pounds of muscle. So really good there. Um, as you can see, just 0.3% up in the body fat percentage, um, always zero. So yeah, really pleased with that. Cool. So that's the DEXA scan guys. Now let's talk about how I did this. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen here. So yeah, so kind of the three main points, um, kind of the three main takeaways I took from this lean bulk. Number one, I would say is duration. Okay, one thing I've done for myself in the past, and I see people do it all the time, is not allowing enough time for the bulk. Okay, you got to give yourself enough time, um, but you you can't like, you know, if you feel like you're getting a little fluffy at times, you know, don't freak out and like go on a mini cut all the time, you know, you, or else you're just going to be yo-yoing back and forth. Okay, so that, that's one of my main key takeaways. Give yourself enough duration. And I would say at least six months is what you want to try to stick to. I would say like somewhere between six months and a year is how long you want to be in a, a good bulk to put on some good size. Um, so give yourself that time. Don't freak out if you feel like you're getting a little bit fluffy. You know, don't don't freak out if you're posting pictures on social media and you don't feel like you look your absolute leanest. You know, you're you're in that bulking phase and you got to give yourself enough time to put on that muscle. Okay, so that's number one is duration. Give yourself enough time. Number two, um, increase your calories and macros incrementally. Okay, so one thing I've done in the past, I've just like, boom, right, raised those calories super high, kind of just, boom, like exploded into the bulk right away, like just like set those calories at like a really solid surplus. What I did this time around, and I think this is why I didn't gain as much fat as I had in the past when doing a lean bulk, is I just started in a real slight, slight surplus and I was very patient about it. And I just incrementally raised that surplus across that those six months. Okay. And this is a good way to do it too, because it's an easy way not to plateau. If you just boom, like raise your calories super high, your body's going to adapt to that. Um, so you're not going to gain as much muscle across that time as you, as you would. Um, if, you know, if you're coming out of cut, out of a cut and you raise into a, a slight surplus, you're already going to start gaining some muscle and then as you just slowly increase that across time, you're incrementally going to do it the right way to gain muscle. And you're not just in this like super crazy surplus right off the bat. That's unnecessary. Okay. Kind of the same thing on the opposite side. If you're cutting, you don't need to just drastically drop those calories to like a thousand calories. Like you want to strategically lower it. So the same thing in a bulk strategically increase those calories and macros across time incrementally and strategically. Um, and what you want to do too, is like pay attention to the, the weight that you are gaining. So if you're gaining super quick, then just like stick there or maybe even decrease the calories a little bit. But if you're, if you're decreasing really slowly or you're not increasing, um, mass at all, like when you're weighing in and it's just kind of like stagnant or it's just increasing super slow, then raise them a little bit more. Don't just go off of like the calorie calculators and just say, that's it you know, pay attention to the scale and increase or decrease depending on the results that you're actually seeing from day to day and week to week. Okay. So that's tip number two is increase calories and macros incrementally. Okay. And number three is, and, and this is going to sound super basic, um, but just focus on progressive overload. So the first two were kind of your your more diet focused tips. This one is just like the biggest thing with training is going to be progressive overload. So, and I, I just like really honed in on it, on this lean bulk, you know, just giving myself plenty of time with, with some of the main movements and not really like switching them up too much because people use too much variety sometimes. Okay. You don't need to switch things up every single week. You don't even really need to switch things up every month. A lot of times, um, especially with the main movements, give yourself enough time to progressively overload. Cause that's going to be the main driver, um, in putting on muscle. Okay. So when you're focusing on training, the most important thing overall, you know, as long as you're getting adequate volume is going to be progressively overloading your movements. Okay. So make sure you're giving yourself enough time with some of those main movements. 
and make sure you're giving your muscles a reason to grow. And the main thing that's going to drive that is progressive overload. Okay. So those were kind of the three main takeaways, guys, duration, increasing calories and macros incrementally, and just focusing on progressive overload. Those, those are really, you know, pretty simple, but the, those are the main things that I took away um, from this lean bulk and why I think I was able to put on, you know, 12 pounds of muscle, uh, only three pounds of fat and s maintained my body fat percentage. Okay. So if you like this video, please like, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be making more kind of videos, just highlighting what I'm doing in my training. Um, so like I said, the next video I make is either going to be a, a home gym tour. Um, but like I said, I, I'm, I'm also going to be doing a testosterone test soon. So I'm going to go over my results in that. Um, and I, I really have no idea what that's going to be like, because I've, I've never gotten my testosterone checked. So, and I've been a natural my whole life, promise you guys. So, um, so we'll see what those results look like and I'll kind of go over that with you guys. And then I'll go over some tips on how you can increase your testosterone naturally in that video as well. Okay. So cool. So like I said, like the video, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.